This is Jupiter Today for the 14th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is 9 hours, 32 minutes, 14.7 seconds and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 33 minutes, 9.7 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 152.882 degrees, and that's 1.124 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 4.828 degrees, and that's 0.185 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter is 662,774,546 kilometers, and that's 1,079,862 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. Looks like sometime either today or tomorrow the change in distance will be dropping before below 1 million miles per day. Today's relative velocity is 44,994.25 kilometers per hour uh, moving towards one another and that's 1,701.79 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 311.13 degrees, CM2, 147.42 degrees, CM3, 49.63 degrees. And I'm showing this relatively new graphic again today, showing the orbits of the four Galilean moons over the next 24 hours. There's Eo, and Europa, and Ganymede, and Callisto, and the dots are showing the six hour intervals, zero hours, six hours, 12 hours, 18 hours, and zero hours tomorrow UTC for each of the moons. So as you can see, Eo begins the day still in quadrant three heading west, but pretty near its western elongation. Europa starts in quadrant 3, also heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant 4, heading east. And Callisto is also in quadrant 4, heading east. And I can show a Earth point of view. And then at 6 hours UTC, Eo is firmly now in quadrant four, heading west. Europa is still in quadrant three, but getting close to its eastern elongation. 12 hours UTC, Eo has moved behind Jupiter, and Europa is pretty much at its eastern elongation and is moving into quadrant four and will start hitting east. 1800 hours. Eo is now firmly in quadrant one heading east. Europa also. Ganymede and Callisto are also in quadrant four heading east. So we have three fairly evenly spaced moons here all in the same quadrant. And you can see that again in the graphic. That's at 1800 hours. You can see Europa and Ganymede and Callisto. And zero hours UTC tomorrow. Okay, there were two Jupiter satellite events. The first is going to happen at 11 
UTC, 11 hours UTC, when EO disappears into the shadow of Jupiter, and at 13.53 EO reappears from behind Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. The first takes place at 1.12 and goes to 1.22. And that is when the shadow of Europa hides EO. And this is a 10.6 minute event with a fairly deep eclipse of EO, 0.258 magnitudes estimated. And it's a nice fair distance from Jupiter to 108.51 arc seconds. Europa and EO though are only 12.55 arc seconds apart. Still a great event. The second event to take place at 2.21 and goes to 2.30 when Europa occults EO. It's an 8.7 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.269 magnitudes and that is 108.85 degree or arc seconds from Jupiter. I have a new graphic to show today related to the satellite mutual events. This is a Google Earth screen capture and what it's showing is the position on the Earth where Jupiter would be directly overhead at the zenith at the time of the mutual event at 112 UTC. And what this therefore shows is the hemisphere of the Earth that would be able to see this event. And as you can see, all of Africa, most of Europe, some of the Middle East will be able to witness this event. It is in the dark. This is the sun over here on the other side of the Earth. And as I earlier stated that takes place at 112 UTC. The second mutual event just happens about an hour later. So this is the location of the Earth that Jupiter would be uh, at the zenith at that time. And as you can see, some of South America's going to be able to see this event, as well as most of Africa, most of Europe. And if you live in the cold, Canadian Arctic, you may be able to see it very low on your horizon. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. There's the three moons on the same side of Jupiter from our point of view. going to have a fairly close alignment of three of the four bright moons of Jupiter. Wish we were there to see it. The meridian crosses Jupiter twice today, first at 8.34 and the second at 18.30 UTC. There were no new images, but there were quite a few new radio data
These were taken on the 13th of January. And there were no new images and no new papers. The time of this recording is 2316 UTC on the 13th of January 2015. So please subscribe. Would very much enjoy hearing your comments, questions. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for subscribing. You can send your comments or images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.